I'll find you. Welcome back, you guys. As promised, we're going to go over some of the UI and things that I noticed in the gameplay, and we'll talk about what we're seeing and what was mentioned in general. Jumping right into it, right over here on the right side, there's a lot going on. It's very interesting. Uh, right here for the cook, you can see that there's three locks. Those are the three locks that he can use to padlock some of the doors. And then right beside that, you'll notice that there is a canister of blood and it goes from zero to a hundred. He doesn't have any blood right now. There's a clip showing Leatherface killing Leland. And when he kills Leland, you'll see the little purple thing down there light up. That means he's gathered some blood, I believe and then it shows it filling up in the vial and that is when he can go and take that vial over to grandpa and then grandpa's icon is up there on the top and those little diamonds next to grandpa is showing the perk abilities that he's going to get once you give him enough blood you'll see a meter start to fill up around the outside of grandpa's icon and i think once it's full you earn one of those diamond abilities upgrading grandpa effectively uh the down below the blood vial it shows a foot icon i'm assuming that is the uh, killer's stamina and then right below that you have the killer's abilities with the cook it's his hearing perception and being able to mark survivors via hearing them and the sounds they make with nubbins the hitchhiker it is his traps and with leatherface it is his chainsaw now right beside the abilities uh the purple one is the blood vial i'm not sure what the other two are it looks like that one of them means stun. I can only guess that the one in the middle means stun. And maybe the one, the third one on the end is an insta-kill? I don't know what that is. They don't use it in any of the previews, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Now with Nubbins, uh, you can see that he has his three traps right beside the blood vial there. And then I think he has something else down there with the right shoulder button, the right button on the bottom there that is a different kind of trap i don't think that's the same trap that you lay down on the ground that's a rope trap which probably works a little bit differently than the traps that you lay down manually that they can step in uh they don't really show how the special rope trap works but they do mention it in the pc gamer article go read that they do talk about it a little bit and i'll link that article down in the description area now on the survivor side they also have a foot icon for stamina theirs are broken up into smaller sections i'm not sure how that works with the sections above that is uh, the amount of items that that survivor can carry and then below that your health bar underneath the stamina there and to the right of that is a heart and i'm assuming that the heart is connected to your survivor's fear so however i don't know how the fear system works in this uh they don't go into detail about that but the heart will beat faster i guess when a killer is closer or when you're getting hurt or maybe when you're running too long i'm not sure how that works but it does seem to be tied into fear in some way uh for connie you can see down there that she has her padlock ability which instantly lets her break open a padlock that the cook might have placed and then there's some icons beside that it shows like an item to the left of the padlock there directly left of it and then in the middle there shows a door i don't know if that's signifying that an exit has been opened somewhere and then there is another door to the left of that uh maybe the middle one is like the exit to the basement up into the house and then the one left of that is the exit out of the match to ultimately escape and win. I'm not sure what that is. That's my only guess for that. Now, a lot of people might have been getting this confused in the gameplay because they do mention it that Leland does have an ability to shoulder ram some of the killers and stun them. But right here in this visual that they showed, he didn't use his shoulder ability to go ahead and ram nubbins. He actually used his bone shiv. It's a shiv that he made out of, that he got from a bone. I think you acquire those uh, through various places inside the house. And once you have a bone shiv, 
it's probably similar to his shoulder rush where he can run up and use it and he does use it right here to free Sonny and then they both go running off so you can see he still has his shoulder ram it did not go into cooldown so that we just haven't seen yet now right here you can see Sonny running away he has low health and the heart is beating really fast and it's red so then you know seeing that I kind of questioned myself on the whole fear thing but then again you know I'm thinking why would they put a heart icon next to the health bar it's totally not needed if the heart didn't have some other function right so maybe the health and the fear is tied in together the heart beating fast it has to mean something other than the health otherwise they would have just put a health bar there and left the heart out altogether now you see that that Sonny has a screwdriver right here in his items uh, I'm wondering if that helps him to fix particular things uh, maybe he gets the fuse box done or he can maybe it's used to get the exit open what have you considering they're already out of the house I'm assuming that he's gonna be using that either to start something up or to get that gate open at the back I'm not sure and you know one thing that people have not mentioned yet that at least that I've seen is that if you notice that in every video clip that we've seen all the survivors are in the injured state so I'm assuming that you start the match in the injured state everybody's injured in the beginning do they stay that way or can they somehow come out of that via maybe like the skill tree or somebody can mend them um, I don't know and speaking of the skill tree the progression tree there is going to be an extensive skill tree for every survivor in the game so it's cool to know that with this skill tree which we haven't seen yet that for example one Sonny or Julie or Connie or whoever can come in and be completely different from another player's Julie, Connie, Sonny, what have you. And because of the skill tree, you know, everybody's going to have a different kind of survivor, even though they like to play a specific one. So, you know, that's good to know that there's going to be that variety in the meta there that creates replayability. So now if you jump into four different matches with four different Connie's, you know each person playing a different kind of Connie they're all gonna be different from each other based upon people's perk picks in their skill tree and what have you this creates a lot of replayability you're gonna go into a match and everybody's gonna have different things that they are going to be able to do better than others maybe there's a positive and a negative depending on what you pick in the skill tree so that way it's not just something that's gonna outweigh the balance over the killers who I'm sure also have their own skill tree to mess with as they progress. Now, a lot of people are worried about camping in the game. Now, it has been mentioned to me that people will not be able to camp in this game, you know, get into a bush and you sit there for 10 minutes. It's just not gonna happen. There are gonna be things put in place to keep people from doing that. And also people have talked about that they're worried about the exits being camped. That's not going to be possible because there's going to be ways to escape that just outnumbers the killers and how they are going to be working against the exits. It's just not going to be a thing that they could do. So and that's really good news that the survivors will have opportunities and strategies of getting away and not having to worry about somebody sitting over at an exit and if they do see somebody sitting at an exit they do have the option to turn around and have other options of getting out so this right here if you notice is a fuse box and it says that it's in the hitchhikers bedroom which I think is upstairs considering that Leatherface was in the upper landing so this is on the top floor and uh, you have to unlock it first before you can open it up and get inside and then I'm assuming then you have to mess with the fuses in there and once you turn it on and activate it that is going to open up the basement door escape route that some of the other folks on the news outlets were speaking of and that is another way out of the map and another way to win. 
but it requires more work because you got to get some items to get up there, open the fuse box, get it done, and provide that escape route. Now, of course, there is a lot that's just not talked about yet in terms of the meta. We do not know the full meta of how this game is going to be played yet. So there's still a lot of details to cover, but we just can't do it right now. Uh, I'll probably come back and talk about the locations and the visuals that we're seeing, the settings and all that good stuff in another video. Again, you guys leave a thumbs up, leave a subscribe. If you are interested in following Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Killer Clowns, I will be following both of these games. They are coming soon. There is not an exact date yet. Very excited for both of them. You guys have a good one. I will see everybody in the next video. Bye-bye.